question. So muting and stopping up. Just send me the, give me the power. Yeah, let me just make sure it's, we're on.
Hello, can you hear me? No microphone. Can you hear me now, Rob? I need you to uh, plug in your microphone. Can you hear me now? All right. So I need you to unmute your microphone. Um, it's at the bottom of Zoom. You have a little mic there. Just click on it and then Everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Talk to me. Hello, man. Okay, good. Now we're good to go. How are you? Fine, man. I know you. 
You do? Yeah, of course. Where's your... Let me see your face. Just a minute. Okay. You, you were my last teacher at talking. Really? I, yeah. When? Let, let's show me your face. Show me your face. Let me see. Huh. Oh, okay. Out loud. There you go. Wow, bro. You remember me? Of course I do. It's been yeah. Like what? Three or four years, right? No, two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah because of the, my TOEFL expires the last November, I think. Mm -hmm. And TOEFL is two years, yes? Yeah, every two years you need to retake it. Yeah, how, and how expires in, at, in November. So basically, you know everything about the school. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. And uh, what, some what days I go, uh, some days I, uh, I sent uh, an email to school mm -hmm. um, question about uh, returning to school. Uh, if I can enter on advanced level again or need to, to take a retest, something, something like this. And they told me to do the, it's necessary, obligatory to do the, the test on the website. So I did the test, but I, I not uh, schedule an interview, you know. Okay. I just did the test, but uh, no continuous with the process. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to enter in the color books again, man. <laughs> no way. Yeah. No way. I I know I have no patience to 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 do color books again. Yeah, that's the standard procedure, right? You take one step at a time. You take the the four corners test, and then the interview. And then if it's necessary, uh, you, uh, you have to take the sample test, right? Two sections, uh, section one and two of the TOEFL, now only listening and grammar. Uh, okay. So just to have a better idea of exactly what kind of level do you have now? You yeah, have I, did the I did the test on the talking site. I think it's uh, 49 questions. Mm -hmm. I you. got 40. You got 40, correct? Yeah, and, and the, the total is 49, I think. That's a good number. Well, yeah. basically what you need to do is just schedule the, the interview with uh, the teachers there. Okay. And then everything's gonna be all try. Yeah. Good. And uh, what have you been doing? No, man, now, now I'm the last year, the last two years I got married. Good. Yeah, now I will complete uh, uh, in March. I will complete two years. Two years. That I, yeah, I got married. Uh, and of course, I, I move. Now I live in Curitiba, yeah, but in a, another place, not with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's been a, a a uh, kind of good and crazy experience. <laughs> oh, that's good. And uh, no kids yet? No, no, no. Too much? No. I don't have it on my mind for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Well, <clears throat> um, and, and you, man, drinking a lot? No, no, no. Not so much. You know, Not just, so much? Yeah, just socially. Uh, I, I know, I know, I know you like a uh, Mutum Cavallo, man. Oh, that's true. Yes. That's <laughs> one of my favorites. Every, every time I can, I go ahead and drink one. It's yeah. delicious, right? What can you do? Yeah. Go ahead and drink it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well, the idea here uh, is to, you know, talk a little bit about the course, but you know the course. Yeah, we've been here before, um, and have a mini, a mini class, right? I'm just waiting 
uh, to see if more people will join. Okay. Yeah. And then we can start. Okay, no problem. Meanwhile, you can talk, you can tell me more about yourself. Um, okay, so you got married, did you change jobs or still work in the same company? No, I still work in the same company. In the same company, I don't know if you remember, but I work with the quality quality management. Mm -hmm. And I still work in the, the same place. Uh, this year, we complete 18 years, man. My goodness. And the same place, but in, not in the same uh, uh, function, you know. Mm -hmm. With quality management, I, work, I have been working since, uh, I think, 2000 and... 2010, the last eight years, more or less, with quality management. It's mm -hmm. been stressful, man. I, I need to, <laughs> to change my life. <laughs> oh, maybe you need I just, get... you know, some vacation, travel somewhere else later on. Yeah. Hey, and the last year is a, but a fucking year, man. Do you know? <laughs> I have planned many things and. All the strikes. <laughs> yeah, not I don't I don't think that's only you, right? Everybody no, the, 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 uh, the entire world is not me. I'm my planning. consolation, my consolation is that the entire world. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning this amazing trip next year. Oops, no can do. No. Maybe not even this year, right? Maybe we have to no leave. no no concerts to do to go, man. My god. Just the the lives, but it's not the same, right? Yeah. Just being, I think went to the, the, the uh, I was thinking this week, I think in the, when the concerts are allowed again, I think the, the tickets prices are kind of uh, at 1,000, man. <laughs> yeah. Because in a, no, in a normal world is, is half thousand, man. Imagine now, <laughs> now it's 1,000. Yeah, it's amazing. The how poor fast. ticket. <laughs> yeah, rising, right? Uh, I, no, I'm not going to see that concert. Yeah, so I'll buy the DVD later. Yeah, I will show on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that you've been working in the company for 18 years, right? So yeah. this year, it's my 12th birth, uh, anniversary in the school. My God, man, 12. Yes, you see? It's amazing, right? Well, yeah. 12 years teaching, but then you need to take into consideration that I was a student, remember? Ah, of course, of course, man. So four more years of like six. It, wa it, it was before you go to Australia, no? Way before. Yeah, I, I, I mean, let me see. I studied here, uh, I think from 1999 to 2003 and then in 2005 I went to New Zealand and then again in 2007 and then later on to Australia in 2011 but since 2009 I'm here non-stop but did you start to teach at school after the, the New Zealand <clears throat> no uh, here yes but as a career no, before I taught in uh, smaller schools, you know, in the neighborhood. For yeah. a while. And I finally managed to be here where I wanted to be. You know, yeah. since, since this, yeah. is cool. this is cool. This is a kind of family for you. It is. Great. I mean, I live five blocks from here. You yeah. know, when I, when I walk my dogs, I just go ahead and go around the school pass in front of the, the door, just, hey, again, you saw me in the yeah. morning, here I am again. Check if is everything okay. <laughs> yeah, no, yes, oh, okay, everybody's okay, good, good, uh, I can go home now, awesome. Okay, and uh, in your job, are you using, uh, do you have any kind of use for English? No, man, no, mm -hmm. almost never, man. When I use English in my job, man, it's just to read something, but it's not, uh, it's not common. Okay. Uh, when is, it's not common, man. It's very difficult to use English. And I, 
what I am doing to the practice English, man, is listening podcasts, watching some TV shows, but it's not frequently. Okay. Uh, this year, uh, I promise to myself that uh, I will practice more, man. So the, this last two weeks, all days I go and went and I go and come back to my work listening podcasts in English. Yeah, that's a very good tool, man, the podcasts. Yeah. Even audiobooks, right? If you have the the patience to continue listening. I try to I try to, to listen to audiobooks, but I think it's boring. Because mm -hmm. I, I can't uh, pretension on the audio and the history, do you know, of the audiobook and do my, my stuff. When I listen to podcasts, I think it's more natural because it's people talking and mm -hmm. I don't need to pretension on everything. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't care about the, 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 the subject, the context of the conversation. I, I just listening people talking English. Yeah, that, that was my, my, my question. What kind of podcasts do you prefer to, to Man, listen to? I try many podcasts, but I, I get two that I think it's very good for me. Uh, one is called uh, All, All Ears English. It is hosted by two girls, and it's very nice. Uh, they talking about uh, life uh, situations and you using English kind of, uh, ah, how can you use English if you are in a restaurant, for example, or if you live with a, a, a friend and you need to, to share the, the text at home mm -hmm. or when you fight with your, your, your girlfriend, things like this. Uh, Like, and the other one is uh, Expresso, Expresso English. Expresso English. Yeah, it's a girl from America. Mm -hmm. If I, yes. And uh, she talk about grammar, man. It's very nice because I like grammar, do you know? I do. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and she, she talk everything, all, all podcasts is about grammar. Ah, what's the difference about say, tell, and speak? Uh, Uh, 20, 20 phrases to use uh, phrasal verbs, things like this, man. All right, good. So, Rob, let me uh, do something here. Since you, you've been a student uh, here, right? So you should know many of these things, I'm guessing. Yeah. If, 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 not, if not changey, I know. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Well, this is, uh, we talked about it, right? When I started here, when I studied. Now, <clears throat> the school, let's see. Uh, how many years have we been in the market? Do you remember? Mm, I think talking English before this was Few Youngs, you know? I started to, to study here when it's called Few Youngs in 2000 and I don't know, three, <laughs> four, I don't know. And I stopped, then I come back and started again at Phil Young's and I was in a transition to talking. I think it's more than, man, 30 20, years. Easy. More, than 20, more than 20 years, yes. Been here for 30 years, right? And this is the school you study it. Yeah. Now, so yeah, we've been here for more than 30 years now. Do you remember this, the communicative approach? Do you have any idea of what this is? Uh, man, I don't remember this. No? Yeah, the, the focus is making you talk, right? So we try not to talk so much to have a lower teacher talking time so that mm -hmm. you can, uh, you know, improve and speak in class. Now, yeah. good question. There is a, a before and after, number of students per class before the, 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 the pandemic. I, I don't remember, but I think it was 10, the maximum, I don't know. No, 16. 16, yeah. yeah. 
And now, because we are having face-to-face uh, -face classes, right? We are having physical yeah. classes. How yeah. many do we have now? No, I don't know, man. Yeah, six. Okay. Only six? Only six, yes. So if you look around here, let me show you this. It's pretty empty. You uh, remember okay. how the chairs were, right? We had many chairs. Yeah. But wow. my class, my class uh, uh, was always like uh, five or six students. <laughs> yeah, there are semesters in which we have six or seven, and then semesters you have sixteen. God yeah. knows how. how in, in, in the in the last ones was very, very empty. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's more difficult too. The students uh, give up, something like this. Yeah, there's a series of reasons for people to stop, right? Maybe because it gets a little bit hard or maybe because they think they know everything they, they should know, but sometimes they don't. Yeah. And uh, what about the class dynamic? Do you remember anything of how the classes work? Work? Yeah, is is some grammar, some videos, some conversations, activities, and talking about one subject, and TOEFL simulation in the last in the last uh, uh, advanced one and two, three, four. Yeah, there, an there, essay. That's it. Now we like to work a lot with pair and group work. I I, I do. I, I do uh, a lot of pair group work. At this point in life, advanced one, two, three, and four, there's no grammar. I mean, no Portuguese, right? It's only yeah. in. And there's another thing too. Advanced one and two, three and four, they have differences. You remember? One, and two, three, and four, let me see. Yeah, not talking about the TOEFL, but the structure of the class is a little different. Mm. What was Maybe the I don't name? remember. Maybe I don't remember, man, the difference. Yeah. Because in Advanced 1 and 2, we use a book, right? We are using identity. Oh, uh, yes, yes. And the 3 and 4 is just the extra materials. Exactly, right? Uh, the teacher prepares everything based on the yeah. item analysis, right? Yeah. That's why you have the TOEFL on the very first day of class. Boom, TOEFL. So yeah. we can get uh, the grammar topics that we need to work and do them all the way through the semester. Yeah. What about the criterion of excellence? 90. Yes. 90% in the four corners levels, right? That will help you go through on a more easy path uh, in advanced levels. Awesome. Now, your best friend, TOEFL. Yeah. Let's see, tough one. Do you remember the scores you have to get? Man, I, I remember that the last one is 550. Very good. I think the third one is um, 500. I think the first one is 500, man. Almost. The second is 500. Oh, no, no. The first one is 475, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. And then the third one, 525. Very good. Now, normally, people forget about the guarantee, but we like to talk about it. The guarantee is what we have in case you don't get the minimum score on the final official test, right? The ITP. Yeah. If you, don't, if you don't get 500 and you passed in advance four, we guarantee you another semester for free, right? For you to get 500 at least on the TOEFL ITP. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. Awesome. And you have good memory, right? It's yeah. It's very impressive. What about the clubs? Were you a participant of the clubs? Man, I think I've, I've never been on the clubs, man, I think. 
right. Yeah, well, we have the English club to help you improve your grammar, right? Exercise a bit more the vocabulary and the grammar part. Uh, for advanced levels, normally, people are more into the conversation club, right? And then cooking club, game clubs, board game clubs. We have a series of other clubs that happen eventually, even a TOEFL club. I hosted a TOEFL club uh, two years ago. Uh, nice. And they always happen on Friday, right? Yeah. Now, I think this is new for you, Talking Plus. I think, yeah. Talking Plus are videos that you have on our site that our teachers recorded as an extra help. Now, so for, for example, from basic one to intermediate four, uh, the teacher goes over every unit and lessons A and C with vocab and grammar. And advanced one, two, three, and four, the teacher chose some topics that we thought were more important to be reviewed. So she uh, explains everything, right? And there's an exercise for you there to practice with the answers. So everything you have on, uh, on the website, you can do, you know, on a Saturday night or on a Friday night instead of going out with your friends. Am I no, right? okay? No. Yeah. Of course, you, you, you would do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Now, now, now you you talk. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I saw a demonstration of this on the mm -hmm. site. Yeah, we do have that. And uh, well, you told me that you've been working at the same company for eighteen years. That you've been married. Yeah. You were a student here before many times. Yeah. yeah coming and going, coming and going, and that you like to renew your TOEFL test score. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. I think so. the, 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 the final goal is not the, the TOEFL test again. TOEFL test, I think it's the consequence, you know? Yeah, very good. Because I, just, I just want to practice English again, because for me nowadays, the score on TOEFL test means nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nowadays, I don't use it or my company. I, I don't have plans to go to another country to study, something like this. So TOEFL test for me nowadays means nothing. Eh? And so I want to practice again, be in contact, you know, yeah. with the language, the grammar, and friends and teachers. Yeah, that's the, I mean, like, uh, we, we have the TOEFL as a way to certify people. Now, if you're not using it right now, it's good. There's no problem, but it's there in your back pocket. You know, like, hey. Okay. It's my enemy. <laughs> it, I did it. I know I, I can demonstrate to you. Yeah. My you, are in, you are a winner or you are a loser. <laughs> Uh, now, I remember that you were not very keen of pets, right? Like dogs and cats. Did you get one? No, man. No, I try a, I try a, a, a little fish, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it's easier, man. But this, <laughs> this fucker has died, man. You died? How did you? Yeah, man. Did you forget I don't to... know, man. It's a better one, man. Impossible to kill a beta, man. I got it. Two times. I, I had a beta for almost five years, and then I gave it away as a gift to a friend because um, I, I had cats, right? And the cats were kind of like, huh, there's a, there's a little snack for us right there. And my friend, she, she had a little, uh, a, a little kid, and the kid wanted a pet. He said, look, I have this fish. Here it is. And the fish survived for like another two or three years. How did you kill the beta? Man, the two betas, man. The first one <laughs> in 30 days, man. 30 days. 
did you did you uh, did you filter the water and, and things like that? Yeah, man, I I did all the things then, man. All the things. The first one, uh, diet in 30 days, and the second one, I think it's six months. Oh. <laughs> Better, yeah. right? Now I give up, man. I don't yeah. want more. And remember that dog that I had, uh, the bulldog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you on the CWB beard, you know? Yeah, but that's that's my new dog. Okay. Uh, I, I still have the bulldog. He's like 11 years old now. My God. Yes. I don't yeah. remember. I, I know this, but I don't remember the dog. The yeah, picture remember, of that dog. I remember because... Uh, I need uh, Boris needed 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 surgery on his knee. Ah, yeah, man. And then you said, why, why don't you get rid of the dog? I was like, no, <laughs> kill that. kill the dog, man. No, of course not. I remember this. Man. Yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> something I remember, but like, man, there was that guy who told me to get rid of my dog. Man, oh, do you remember this? I don't know. I don't believe that, man. Of course I do. I was very, yeah, you know, uh, <clears throat> it was a very complicated moment with the surgery and everything, having to take yeah. care of a dog. I'm so sorry, <laughs> man. I just was kidding, man. <laughs> but don't worry. Okay, he's a liar. It's, it's not real. I, I, I don't say it with, with my heart, man. <laughs> He, he's very old now, but he's yeah. there. He has a companion yeah, because I, I got a golden retriever. To yeah. Be his company. Yeah. And you, man, I, I remember that you, you, you had a girlfriend. You still with a girlfriend. You got married. You, no man, you 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 did the verb tense perfectly there. I had. <laughs> Now I only, I, only, I only take care of my dogs and uh, well, something new is that my brother came to live with me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, my mother decided to move to a farm, so I said, "Okay, just come, you know, no problem. Let's." Let's share the apartment. <clears throat> okay. well, you remember how this works. So let's pretend we are having a normal, a regular class. Okay. Mm -hmm. And usually I'd like to start with a few questions. And I chose this topic. I know you are a movie fan, a movie enthusiastic. And the well. question for you is what genre of movies do you like? Ah uh, man, I like a. Uh, I don't know if you remember, man, but but uh, I I'm a real fan of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I like it. I love it, but I uh I like kinds of movies like uh Marvel movies. Do you know? Yes. Superheroes movies and action and science fiction. I think it's the the kind of movie I prefer. Did you watch uh John Wick? Yeah, man. The three. One and two and three. How many times? Ah, man, I think two times. Each. Each. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, man, for two reasons, man. First one, because uh, uh, I love Keanu Reeves moves. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good actor. It's a, a simple actor, but at the same time, it's good, man. Yeah. It's not a, a, a what can I say? A Hollywood actor, do you know? With all the the, the cliches, it's a, a a simple man, a simple actor, but it, the the action is very good, man. Yeah, I'm 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 hoping that they film a new one, like John Wick Four, you know, because yeah. every now and then I'm just like zapping through the channels, thinking, twits, and then I see John Wick, boom. Just stay there, watch the whole movie again, because it's super good. I really enjoy yeah. it. Man, if, I, I worry about, man, because uh, I heard that uh, they will uh, be Matrix for, for a man. Mm. Did you hear about it? Yeah, I heard some 
something about Matrix 4? Uh, man, I'm not comfortable with this, man. I think it's not a good idea, man. When was the last one uh, released? In like 1999, 2000? Something like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you said you like Star Wars. Have you seen uh, Mandalorian? Yeah, man, I love it. I think it's the one of the bad things that the universe, Star Wars universe, was made, man. Yeah, I'm still watching episode four of season two, so don't tell me anything. Okay, okay no. No, 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 no spoilers. Yes, please. Cool. And, uh, well, and what is the name of the last movie which you thought was two thumbs up? Mm, the last movie, man. I think it was the... What's the name? It's an animation, man, of Disney+. Plus. It's so... Ah, yeah, is it one with the blue guy? Yeah, the black guy. Yeah, the black guy. Okay. It's a musician. Is it good? That good? Man, it's a kind of crazy movie, but uh, I think it's the final message. The, the movie, it's very good. Because every time I go to... Ma the... Makes you think about your life, do you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's this kind of film. Yeah, at I, the I'm, end of uh, at the end of the movie, you think you m make a, a reflection, you know. Mm -hmm. But very, this is cr crazy. Sometimes it's crazy. I'm a very visual person, so when I see when I when I see the cover of the title, I go like, ah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe another day. But <laughs> you were the first one who tells me that. No, I've seen it. It's good. So maybe on the weekend, I'll give it a chance. Man, it's good, but it's normal good, you know? Just mm -hmm. good. Just good. Okay. No more of this. <laughs> now, the opposite. Yeah. What movie, uh, what's the movie that you consider to be a bomb? Mm. Man, I watch a movie horrible this day, man. It was, what's the name of that movie? Um, I will not remember now, man, the name of the movie. It was on Netflix, man, but I would, didn't. Rem I don't remember the, the name. Man. Yeah, I, I've been avoiding. Uh, I have. I haven't tried anything new for the past few weeks, so I. I honestly don't remember any bad movie by the name. What I've been doing is re-watching a lot of things that I have. Yeah, man. I, I, now I, I, I am re-watching, man, the, the t TV series called Sons of Anarchy. Mm -hmm. Do you know? I've heard about it. Never seen it. Man, man, it's very good. For me, it's one of the top three TV series, man, in my opinion. Okay, Sons of Energy. It's on Netflix, right? No. It's on Amazon. Amazon. Yes. Yeah, for it to in have the, like in the, in the in the past was in the Netflix, but nowadays it's just on Amazon. For you to have an idea, I have uh, rewatched Grand Tour in uh, on Amazon Prime. It's about cars, right? So yeah. Like, and I am rewatching How I Met Your Mother for the tenth time. My God. Yeah, it's just to kill some time, you know? Yeah. Well, you are crazy about action movies. Tell me, what movies which have a lot of special effects do you like the most? Mm. I think it's the um, special effects. Yeah, Star Wars has a few. Yeah, man. Yeah, but uh, I think the the Avengers huge mate, man. Mm -hmm. Ah, was very crazy, man. The Avengers, the uh... the ultimate, no? The ultimate, I don't know. Ah, and in Portuguese is ultimato. In English, I don't know the name, man. Let me see very fast here. Um... 
I don't know the name of movie in English. I'm just double checking here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost always just translated in English and Portuguese is not the same. It's totally different than name. Yeah, I have what I uh, I can see a few, but they're like cartoonish, so I don't know. But maybe yes. Well, um, but, but this is the last the last Avengers man. So the end game. The end game. Yes. So that's it. The end game was good. Even though I thought the the, the end of the movie was a little bit too much, far fetched, you know, yeah. like okay, traveling time, coming back. Wow. Yeah, but I think the the best scene is the the battle. The battle, like uh, when the, the people are disappearing. No, no, no. When when people fight each other, man, all the superheroes ah, in the same scene. The battle. Yeah. I mean, I the battle. <laughs> no, no, the battle. Sorry. Yeah, that's that's a good end. Uh, actually, I saw that movie for the third time on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I watched this in minimum three times. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because I do the same thing. I keep on. Yeah, and, and two weeks I go, man. I re watching Avatar, man. Wow. That's more than three hours, man. That's, that's brave. Yeah, man. It is a good movie for, yeah, the, first I time, think... for the first time you watch. I think the, the photography is good, man. But then, like, twice, maybe. <laughs> but more than that, a bit much. Yeah. Well, uh, you told me one of your favorite artists, right? Um, yeah. Ken Reeves. Keanu Reeves, yeah. Can you tell me another one who has had a mind-blowing performance? Mm. Man, I, I like Will Smith, man. Will Smith. Yes. Yeah. That's it's a very nice guy, man. Mm -hmm. And most of the movies are very nice, too, right? Yeah. Okay. If you saw a movie and on the, the, the characters you saw Will Smith, you can try. <laughs> yes. He has a reliable, like, movie face. Yeah. Well, Will Smith did this. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. give it a try. Well, um, we have here a few expressions that I used from the from the other page. Can you tell me what they mean? Now we have two thumbs up, bomb, special effects, and mind blowing. What do they mean? Just a minute, man. I try to zoom this this screen. Oh, it's possible. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Tell, me, tell me in order, right? Like one, two. Oh, I think it's three is three, man. Three is three. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about number one? Two thumbs number up. One. Two thumbs up. Uh, The second one. Hmm. No, let me see. Two thumbs up is when you tell, hey. No, no, no. Okay, okay. The last like one. This. Yeah. Yeah. And what about a bomb? The movie's a bomb. Uh, I think it's the second one. Yes. Now, special effects, you said it's the third yeah. one, and yeah. therefore, the mind first one. blowing the first one. Yeah. Very good. Do you have any problems with the vocab here? No, no. All good. Okay. Can you choose one of these expressions and come up with a sentence for me? Can you repeat, man? I, I didn't understand. Uh -huh. Can you choose one 
of these words, one, two, three, and four, and uh -huh. then uh, come up with a sentence. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, oh, Avengers, the end game uh, is a film that uses uh, uh, special effects a lot. Or um or I any game is a, a kind of mind blowing movie. Very good. Just be careful the first sentence now. Uh, the Avengers the End Game is a movie that uses okay, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. The third uses third. a lot okay. of special effects. Very good. And man, amazingly you used what we are going to be discussing now. You said Avengers the End Game is a movie that uses a lot of special effects. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that, which, and who are in the in the grammar world? Oh, okay. Let's let's try to to explain. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, I remember that, which, and and who, and who, who is for is for person only mm -hmm. for person. Okay. That I can use that for person or things. Okay. And it sometimes that is not necessary. I can, I can omit mm -hmm. this uh, without. Uh, 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 it's not necessary. And which, which the the last one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Which uh, which for things? But uh, I remember that. For use which there is a, a a special rule that I don't remember now. I think it's different which and that. Well, uh, there is one detail, but it doesn't mean that they are different. Uh, which and that are pretty much the same thing. Now we we say that that is a little bit more informal than yeah. which. Very man. The beginning of the explanation is this. Now we have here. Look, this underlying sentence, now which you thought was two thumbs up. That is a piece of information that is related to movie. And movie yeah. is a thing, so we yeah. use which, okay? So basically, what's the idea? Using these guys, which, that, and who, we give a definition or an extra information about, uh, or we give extra information about a word in the sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That you consider a bone. Again, more info, we are using that, that is related to movie. Here yeah. we have, you see that this one is a little different. Yeah. It's in between commas. And when this happens, we cannot use that. Oh, yes, this rule I tried to, <laughs> I was trying to remember. Okay, we only use which when we have yeah. things in between commas. And in this case, you see that the use is also a little bit different. Now, because if we cut this part, the sentence makes sense. Now, what movies do you yeah. like most? So yeah. this is only extra info. Different from this, look at that. Yeah. What's the movie? Uh, okay, what else? Ah, what's yeah. the movie that you consider a bomb? And the last one is about the actors. Now we have who has had, who for people, and yep. anyone. And these are called? Relative clause. Relative clauses. Can you read for me here? Relative clauses are? Okay, meaning and use. Relative clauses are used to give additional information about a noun, such as a person, place, or thing. Relative pronouns introduce a relative clause. They include who for people and which for things, when for time, and who's to show possession. Yes, of course. Who and which are super famous, when yeah. and whose are not so much, but they are... Uh, they are there, they're necessary. Yeah. How many types of relative clauses do we have? Open, open. Two, right? Def uh, defining and then defining. 
yeah. non-defining is that case that comes in between the commas, remember? Okay. If you delete that, it doesn't change the meaning of the sentence. Here, I have a few examples. Can you read number one, two, three, and four, please? Okay. The human who found my wallet handed it in a, into reception. The student whose dog has run away has gone to look for it. I remember the day when we first met. These are the earrings that my mother gave me. Very good. So if you imagine putting your finger, okay, over the sentences that are underlined and okay. trying to read the new sentence, you see that the sentence is a little bit strange. Okay. When you say the woman handed it uh, into the reception. Ta, handed, handed what? 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 Yeah. Okay, so this is called defining relative clauses, right? They give, mm -hmm. look, essential information, okay, about okay. the subject or the object of the sentence. Now, read example number one and two. My friend's birthday which was last weekend, was great fun. My current girlfriend, who I love it very much, calls me every night. Now, if we do the same thing, if we cover the underlying part, the sentence makes total sense. My friend's oh, yeah. birthday was great fun. My yeah. current girlfriend calls me every night. So it means that these guys are not essential. Therefore, they are non-defining relative clauses, right? Not essential, not defining. Yes. In between commas and never, ever, ever, ever use that in between commas. Okay. Yeah. Well, if we were in a regular class, I would give you a bit more, you know, uh, I'll give you some written exercises for you to do and practice. But we don't have so much time to do so. Yeah. Okay. And I need you to ask you... Two more things. One more thing, actually. What okay. are the main differences between intensive and the regular courses? Oh, intensive, we have a class all days. Mm -hmm. And for more time, I think it's uh, three, five hours, no? No. Per day? No, no. <laughs> five no. no, no, five hours, no, man. No, no. I think it's three, three, three hours, no? Three hours and a half. Three hours and a half and five days per week. Yeah. Yes. And we we finish we can finish one semester in I think it's less than 20 days. Very good. Exactly what I have here. Now the intensive happens on the vacation months. We have the new one coming up on February on the 1st. Classes are every day 3 hours and a half in the morning, afternoon or evening. 17 days. You almost got it. And that means one level in one month. And the, the hours that we have per level, it, they are a little, uh, a little less, okay? So it's 60 hours. The regular course, what, what else do you remember from it? Uh, classes two times per week, mm -hmm. two hours and a half per class. And one semester is equivalent four months. Very good. Uh -huh. So it, it, they always happen from uh, March to June, August to November. Twice a week, 2.5 uh, hours a day. Okay. It's missing there, but it's a day, not a week. Okay. We have 32 classes in, uh, in general. And look, this is the main difference, right? The regular course has more hours oh, than the, reg the, the intensive, okay? So okay. it's 80, 80 hours uh, throughout the semester. Do you have any questions? Yeah, man, I have. Uh, in those online classes, man, mm -hmm. like... Uh, uh, if it is intermediate or, or basic or oh. advanced, it doesn't matter. Uh, what's the maximum of students per, per class, man? 
in online courses. In the online classes. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's six for anywhere. Now we 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 had a little adaptation last last year because that, that we had to fit more people in one class. But for anywhere, we have six six people per class. Independent if it's online. Yes. Okay. For now. In the online, uh, sorry, for now, on the physical world, we are having six people. Now, whenever it's safe, I think we're going to go back to having more than six. But okay. online, at anywhere, we only have six people, no matter what. Okay. I think it's a good number. Because in, uh, online, is, the dynamic is different than the physical one. And yeah. I think... We try, to, we try to do the same things we do in the physical classes in the online. Of course, there, there are adaptations. Uh -huh. But you have pair work and you have group work the same way we have in the physical classes. Because yeah. the, now we can um, break, uh, we can create more rooms and put, for example, you and me in one room. So we can talk about a subject and then the teacher just pops up, hey, what are you talking about? To check ah, okay, okay. the conversation. Now, it's okay. not only like six people talking to each other at the same time. No. Okay. This and the, the this kind of things that we we used to do on classes, like ah, uh, you put a, a video from YouTube on the screen, for example. Uh, this kind of t activities on online uh, class happens too? Yes, they happen. Uh -huh. we, just like I'm sharing my screen with you now, I can share a YouTube video. Uh, okay, okay. Um, what happens most of the times is that the teacher creates a group on WhatsApp. So oh, if, okay. if you're watching, for example, the class on your computer, I can send the activity so you can see the, the video and you can follow the activity on your cell phone. Ah, uh, okay. Or if you're doing that only in the computer, you can see the video and you can have the activity open as well. So we found many ways to be as we were, as we are in, in the physical classes. Okay. And there are a few adjustments, of course, but most of, most of the things are the same. Okay. Oh, very nice, man. Very nice. Do you have any other questions, sir? No, man. I have no more questions. I have one for you. When are you going to do the interview? I will, I will check the, the calendar and I will choose a date and an hour. Very good. Man, there's just one more difference, okay, for advanced levels. Uh, in advanced one and two, we use identities one, okay? For anywhere in advanced three and four, we don't, we don't use tailor-made, okay? We use a book and the book is identities two, okay? So that's the main difference between the advanced three and four courses of the physical classes with the online classes, that in the online uh, classes we have a book and no TOEFL. Oh, uh, there's no TOEFL on online? No. And then you, you have like a, a regular test with the content of the book. Oh, like in the, in the other levels, mm -hmm. basic and intermediate. Yes. In the end, in the end of the, the topic of the book, we have a test about that topic. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then of course, I need to and uh, when and, and that doesn't mean you're not gonna, you're not going you're not going to be ready for the ITP eventually. Okay, okay. Because the book it covers many topics that we also cover here in the school. The only thing is that you don't have that practice, you know, like sometimes okay. doing a mini test or a listening specific listening activity for the TOEFL. And the TOEFL in the online classes it doesn't exist. Okay, but the the dynamic of the classes, like in the in the physical one, 
when you have a boom TOEFL test for everyone on the first day, and uh, we got many information about uh, INA analysis, and you choose what to, to teach, and in each class during the semester with the result of this. So in the online classes, there's no that dynamic. No, the online classes you follow the book, and then every I think after two units you have a test. And the tests are never done with the teacher online, okay? You have a time frame to access uh, the okay. website and do the tests by yourself, okay? okay? So we can use more time in class to teach and, and get you guys to, okay. to work. All right? Very nice. Very nice. Okay, man. So if you don't have any further questions. No, man. I have no more. Thank you, too, man. Thank you too. This on this, on this private class. <laughs> Tonight private class. Our private man. class. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Um, I try to warm up my English again. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sorry if I speak something incorrectly or use the wrong tense of verbs and. You know, pronunciation. It, it, it happens with whoever is coming back. You know, little slips will always happen. Coming back, we'll see that, oh, no, it's simple fast. Oh, no, but it, okay. yeah. I think the most important when you uh, made a mistake, mm -hmm. but you, at the same time, your mind told you. What do you say? What you said was incorrect, man. That's, that's good. That's a good sign. Of yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like it when I say something wrong and at the same time, my mind told me. Yeah. And, yeah. I know, yeah, and, and I know the answer. Oh, it's not this, it's this. Very good. I think, well, it's me, I think it means that I know. Yes, it means that you learned. You're yeah. just lazy to remember. Yeah. And then yeah. your mind tells you, yeah, it's not like this, it's like that. Yeah. I think it's, it's the same in Portuguese, man, when you pronunciation or or saying something wrong. Yeah. Like you said, for example, uh, para mim, para eu, do you know? Yes, I know. That hurts. Uh, yeah. Or the voila. No? Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, man. Man, I hope to see you around, okay? I hope you too. All right. So, goodbye. Have a nice evening.